okay so so the next thing is that the, which kind of security i mean those this uh, physical security i will say and or or the uh, uh, normal security i mean from the technical terms the uh, which kind of security will be there in the cyber arc vault so there are seven layers basically for the vault okay that that some 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 will i mean uh, if i'll start from the authentication right if you will try to authenticate to vault right you have to provide the dual factor authentication if you log into the pwa right you can also configure dual factor authentication to the vault as well so another one that uh, another one is that it will be the uh, the firewall will be the cyber arc firewall i mean not the company firewall they, they have their own firewalls rules and regulations and the port is the 185 port also the session encryption will be there okay and uh, the role based access control as i told you that the role based access control this is the one role based access control which i told you about the safe the similar way there are the role based access control on the vault level as well okay there will be four groups basically the main the main group will be vault admin this is the vault admin admin this will be the user this will be auditor and this we can call it as safe safe manager okay so there will be four types of i mean in the cyber arc, i mean they have also uh, in the newer version they have categorized in five in the five parts but ma mainly there will be administrator the vault admins there will be one user vault user there will be auditor and there will be safe manager okay so in cyber arc when we will install cyber arc you will also create the, these four groups okay the vault admin ad group the vault user ad group the vault auditor and the vault uh, the, the safe manager ad group initial versions are ravi i mean you we have only three the vault admin user and auditor so when we will get request right that uh, ravi joined the team and he needs cyber arc, cyber arc access as a user then what what the cyber arc admins will do they have the ad group side that vault underscore user is the ad group and then then they will add you into that that group and you will get the cyber arc access it means you can just log in and see the only the accounts tab the user level privilege okay if you are the vault admin you can log into the vault you can log into the private arc client and you can do the vault administrator activity on the pwa and other other interfaces if you are the auditor you have the session recording and monitoring tabs permissions and few other permissions and if you are the safe manager you have different permissions so this is the basically which they are talking about the role based access control another one is the mandatory access access control where they are talking about the time limits and delays so what you can do you can also define when people can access when the password can be rotated okay at at what time at what day basically the password will be rotated and at what uh, in which number of days you can log in or log out these things i mean you can configure these access control are there okay and the next one is the auditing as i told you that the psm will be there for the auditing capability and one is the encryption that each these things will be encrypted basically so here here is the safe right and uh, okay so how i mean it will work there will be accounts or the uh, i would say the accounts password okay basically we will store the passwords so the passwords and then we have the here we have the safe
safe and this is the vault the first these these boxes are the accounts these the next box is the safe the next box is vault and this is the key so how the encryption works basically this will be encrypted okay these passwords will be encrypted and these the entire things will be encrypted on the unique safes let's say if you have the uh, the password is stored in the safe one uh, then the next pass i mean password object is stored in the safe two so it will be encrypted in the respective safes the restrictive i mean the, all the safes will be encrypted using the vault keys and this then i mean this will be encrypted uh, will be decrypted by the keys basically 